If you or a family member have been hurt because of the careless actions of another person, call Walker Texas Lawyer. They'll work to get you the financial compensation and justice you deserve. They have 40 years of experience, and you don't pay unless you win. Call 713-881-9653 today for a consultation or go to walkertexaslawyer.com. Oh, great. What have you done now? Broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, and around the world, and around the world, TV host, best-selling author, and radio personality, Brad Gilmore, brings you a collection of conversations with stars from movies. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, how are you? The legendary Mr. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Great introduction. <laughs> Television. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Kelly Ripa. Brad, thank you for having me. Comedy. Jay Leno joins us. Jay, how you doing? Hey, Brad, what's going on? Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias. Good morning. Music. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The legendary frontman of ACDC, Brian Johnson, joins us right now. Brian, how you doing? Good morning, Brad. What lucky to talk to me, funny lad. Grammy Award winner Maya joins us. How are you? And more. And more. This is, is the, the collection. collection. Now your host, host the, the boat, boat, Brad, Brad Gilmore. Gilmore. And I'm so excited to be talking to our next two guests. These gentlemen are responsible for some of the most iconic records from the 1990s and the 2000s, and they continue to lend their creative minds to us in the years to come. They got a brand new single out of collaboration called 365. It is Dame Dash and Freeway. What's going on, gentlemen? What's happening? What's popping, bro? How you feeling? Uh, I'm doing good. It sounds like y'all are having a great time over there. I'm excited to talk, though, about the new record, 365. Uh, Dame, I know there's a passion for you and this Black Guns project. It's been something you put a lot of energy into. Talk to me about this record and the collab with Freeway. Um, well, you know, I've been on the rock and roll tip for a while. I just did, I mean, my first project with the Black Keys. But um, as far as Freeway goes, I've been watching Freeway face adversity going to the schools with the Stephen Thinkers Academy, down with the OSG, which is something I'm down with, a couple of hundred principals from economically challenged places. And, you know, I've been doing the rock and roll thing, and I always went to freeway like a rock star, like the ZZ Top kind of thing. And, you know, he's doing the right thing, and I was like, yo, let's go do the thing, let's go do the rock and roll. And uh, I'm going to make a project, and it came through, just like a rock and roll and you remember a black belt and that, and combined it with the rock and just the project that we have now. And Freeway, talk, talk to me though about when Dame approaches you about doing this collaboration and doing 365. Um, you know, rapping a rock guitar is a little bit different than the traditional hip hop records. What, did you like approaching kind of a different style? And was it a, was it a different approach you had to take to find your pocket? I mean, I, I'm always up for a challenge. I love music, period. So it was definitely dope to play the genre. And I adjusted quickly. Like, so the first record, we cooked it up in 16 seconds. As soon as they, as soon as, uh, they started playing, they started picking up. So it was definitely a good Sorry, I get a little bit of noise on, 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 on y'all's end. But um, let, let me ask you this, though, Dame. You talked about Black Rock and the, the record you had with the Black Keys. That's one of my favorite albums that came out in the last 20 years. I've listened to that thing so many times, What You Do To Me. Uh, there's so many records on there that I love. Um, talk to me about starting with that, the Black Rock Project. What are your memories of it? And I have a particular question for you. I don't even know if I can say this word on the air, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Can you tell me the origin story of Coochie? Because that's one of my favorite records from that project. <laughs> well, number one, big ups to you. You did that project and only real what kind of sores really know about it and that was my perfect that was my purpose to make some kind of like vinyl but um you know i've always been into the rock and roll thing what actually happened is my girl rocky who's my girl now back in the day she had broke a leg she was listening to a lot of music to get her through sitting in the hospital with the black uh keys so i was like yo give him a call because i listened to it and i liked it and they came through and i was working with jim jones at the time and he didn't show up to the first session. So I've been hanging out with uh, Most Def the night before. 
And you know, most definitely is uh, well versed in music. So he knew about the Black Keys. So I called him. He pulled up. And you know, nobody could get most. He was like lightning in a bottle. But he was so into the project. Yeah, he, he came through, you know, and I taped it. And really what happened was that first uh, time they came through, uh, you know, and this is like 10 years ago, people weren't doing, uh, you know, there wasn't social media as much. And I had the uh, Canon, the 5Ds, and we taped it, and I made that first um, making of the record, which I did with the Freeway record, but it just went so viral. And at the time, I don't think it was this. It was before uh, there were commercials on YouTube, but it went viral and it turned into a big project. The Uchi Cool, that's what we talking about. That was that's when the, the no the, the one won. the record with uh, ODB and Luda. Well, oh, uh, so what happened with that record is, um, I made that record with Old Dirty Bastard a while ago, and uh, I was kind of pissed off at Luda for that because they didn't clear it. I might have put it out anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but I was pissed off. So I put Luda on the record, uh, you know, just his voice. Like I had the whole, I still have Old Dirty Bastard's album. You know, I have all the vocals with the music, but I didn't love the music. So I replaced the music with the Black Key music and or the Black Rock music, put Luda on it, and then Luda, for some reason, didn't want to clear it. I kind of still felt the way about that. Um, I didn't know why. But that's how it happened. Oh, so, man. I love that record though. Again, and, and you're right, that that went viral before viral was a thing because y'all released them in episodes. And I remember just I mean, binging them all when I found it on YouTube and being able to see Mos and and, and MOP in the studio with the Black Keys at the time. And this one Black Keys are coming off that brothers record that was so massive and had such pop appeal. It was like perfect timing, lightning in a bottle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I wanted to do something different. Which is what I always want to do, and yeah, it was a, it was magic. I'm not gonna lie, we had a really good time. No one expected it, and that's what I wanted to do. That's what kind of started me into the rock and roll space and being confident about it. And I always knew, like I would run into, I would always tell Freeway, I'd be like, "Yo, you gotta come out here one day, just give me a day or two. And she, you know, he got with the OSD and came through when he showed up. And I think you're gonna be really surprised uh, or impressed with with his lyrics. He really he, he zaps. He goes crazy on the on the on the uh, record. It's crazy. You got you got to hear it. Yeah, no. You got like records and, and it's nuts. You got to hear the whole thing. It's crazy. Yeah, three six five is an awesome start. And and I wanted to ask you, Freeway, because you know um. You know, I'm from Houston. We got some legends out here in the age. You know, Scarface, one of them, a lot of your favorite rappers, favorite rapper. But you, you've always been known for your lyrical content, finding interesting pockets, really bringing us into the music with your lyrics. But I kind of wanted to know from your perspective, who are some of your, I call them, I quit rappers? Like when you hear them spit a verse, you're like, man, that, that's so good. I don't even know if I could ever top it. Who are the guys who push you? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I mean, of course, like Nas, Jay, Scarface, Bean, you know, PD Track, you know, that's presently. But like when I was coming up, I used to look up to like Stretch from Naughty by Nature, um, Dress and Black Sheep. I like people with different flows and that, you know, bring something different to the table. I like artists. If I could close my eyes and, and visualize what you're saying, then I can rock with it. And speaking of Houston, I just was out there all week. You know, I had a couple shows out there, and I uh, did two videos with Sauce Walker, one for his project and one for the Simpac too. So I'm oh, tapped man. in with Houston Heavy. Hey, man, we appreciate that. And I, that. And I went past <laughs> Bun B restaurant and got, and got a Trill Burger, which was <laughs> delicious. <laughs> those Trill Burgers are no <laughs> joke. I don't I don't know if you've had uh, the chance to break bread with one, Dane, but those Trill Burgers are no do uh, no joke. Um, let, let me ask you this, Dane, because one of the things that uh, pe people talk Dane, about— make, Say again? Can, First, first. <laughs> I, heard, I, heard. I just came from out there too. We're going to be doing the fifty fifteen out there as well. Uh, so with uh, Steve, a little uh, a uh, a uh, maybe a residency or something. We spend a lot of time in Houston. We like it out there. Okay, well, hey, definitely keep me in the loop. I'd love to come out and show love and support. Now, Dame, one of the things that one of the words that people use when they describe you as boss. 
I mean, that's the first thing. When I told people, hey, I'm going to be talking to Dame and Freeway, they're like, oh, man, Dame, he's such a boss. And one of the things that I'm looking forward to do in 2024 is being my own boss, not not being beholden to contracts, you know, really betting on myself. Uh, what advice could you give somebody like me and anybody else who wants to be their own boss and take their own journey in their own hands like you have done successfully so, for so many years? Well, I would say, you know, boss is a mentality. And once you go boss, you can never go back. So if you approach things as a boss and only see things as a boss, you only accept boss. And, you know, a boss is somebody that identifies their dream, invests their money into it, and they make it happen. They control their own destiny. So if you want to be in control of your life, which is priceless, it's not money first, it's love first. And you have to make sure you're happy. And that's what you have to do. So, you know, boss means control. Control means freedom. And freedom means your family's happy. And that's all that counts. Man, I love that. And I love the record. I love 365. Y'all can stream it right now. It's available. You can watch the video on YouTube, which was really well done. The Black Guns, Dame Dash, Freeway, Project on the Way. Gentlemen, when, when can we expect the record? When can we expect the full thing? I think, I think February, January, February. But also, you know, I have a television network where you can see everything called America New. So go to your app store. Type in America, space, don't spell space, and you download it, and you can see everything. It's a free television network. You get the full CPM. You'll also see the making of the 365 video. And we're going to be coming into a town, uh, you know, we're going on tour. We'll be in Vegas on the, on the 21st. The 21st, we'll be in L.A. on the 19th. We'll be in Lakeland, Florida on the 29th. And then we'll be touring the rest of the, uh, the, the, the next year. And we'll be going into schools, we'll be teaching a curriculum, and, uh, you know, we'll be doing the show, showing you how to make your dreams come true. So bosses teach other people how to be bosses because they need partners. We need other generals with army so we can go fight that war. I'm looking for bosses. And Freeway definitely turns into a serious boss. Hey, man, I love to hear it. I love to hear it. I just love that we are able to break bread for a moment and chop it up for a little bit. Support the project. Support Dame. Support Freeway. Support 365, The Black Guns, America New, all their tour dates. And I'll see y'all with y'all here in Houston. I can't wait. Be there. Appreciate you. Hurry up, tape running out.